watching this. I'm dead. Corruption still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? <laughs>
will be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. criminals to realize the Batman is gone. You can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. You are clear to engage. Technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And... He was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. I'm at Gotham University, so I'm looking for a professor? Kirk Langstrom. The half-finished file was big on Batman's radar, and that usually means something bad. I'll keep my eyes open for any clues. So we got a positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Langstrom is no longer among the living. Any idea where his office is? Seriously? Crap. Well, our notes had his office on the third floor of Molten Hall. Thanks, Belfry. Someone left the balcony doors open on the third floor. Body cam recording. This must be it. The police didn't spend much time here. This must not be where Langstrom died. What are these marks? They look new. This is clearly where Langstrom died. The GCPD abandoned the scene pretty quickly. Do they just not care, or...? Langstrom appears to have been attacked at his workstation. Blood loss was... significant. Signs of a struggle. Then, whoever did this... pinned him to the wall. How awful. Langstrom dragged himself towards that cabinet before he died. Why wouldn't he go to the door?
wholly unethical research. Dr. Langstrom was hiding some serious skeletons down here. Langstrom's workstation. There must be something I can use. A hard drive. If it's back here with the sketchy research, it probably has something good on it. Or something very bad. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but... It would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. trained you well. Didn't your beloved tell you to stay out of Gotham? Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. You're burning your own dad? It'll be hard for you to resurrect him if he's ashen, unless... That's the point. That's the point, isn't it? Wait! Where are you going?
Okay then. All right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts and volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well, Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. still in Gotham. You taken over the League of Shadows? I'm not their commander. They cast me out. You're the daughter of Raish al Ghul. He's dead, and you made sure that was permanent. Who else would get the job? My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the League, despite his refusals. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. If Bruce was Raish's successor, why did Raish kill him? That, that doesn't make sense. I agree. It was an irrational win. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. Is that why you burned your dad's body, after stabbing him? That looked like revenge to me. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him, and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. I'm glad someone has closure. Does all this mean that you're done with Gotham? I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. I think Bruce would rather still be alive, and you didn't answer my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cow break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. Call it part of an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. Smooth exit, honestly. Belfry, I met Talia. I think she's split from the League. Surprising, but also not. Is that why you didn't ask her about Langstrom? That was intentional. 
I'm not going to give information like that to someone I don't trust. Let's keep it that way. They'll free out. So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Babs, help. Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it, and we'll know. been out of Gotham ever since, you know, her ex. Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. Then we go find Harley. Now. Junk? Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, too. Uh-huh. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? Batman had you working on something. I need to know what. Wait a second. This means the bats is dead. For real. Well then, he asked me to profile some criminals on account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. I read your old papers. It's kind of a shame he turned criminal. Hey, I am not a criminal. I misunderstood. Right. So, what were you doing for Batman then? Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my peace de resistance. I need you to follow up on this here card. That'll make it perfect. From a card catalog? Where's the other half? Should be down in records. Okay. Bye. Huh. Interesting. must have what Harley wants to know. Looks like I've got what I need. I wonder what Harley's going to do with it. 
This must be tied into what Batman was looking into. <clears throat> ah? You're back. Blackgate really needs to go digital. I get that you're Harley Quinn, but you could have just handed it to me. All available guards to Red Block. Play nice. Seriously? Probably won't just let me through, huh? Harley's been busy. Where do we even start with this? Hmm. Wow. Harley's profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look. Something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden, we're set. Oh, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Now she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs. Hey, Babs, what did you figure out? <laughs> they all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look, they were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is onto something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin. He's like everyone else in here, except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. 
He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. Relax, dick. We got this. So you can use a door after all. When the mood strikes me. They're listening. You may have questions. But I can think of a few reasons not to answer them. I had that touched up recently. Sadly, my usual guy wasn't available. Good. Now do me a favor, boy, and fetch that bottle of space side. You can watch me drink it while we talk. Every rich criminal I've looked into gets out of doing time at Blackgate. Why'd you serve yours? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by who? But no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> Club. Yep. 
Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But you're fine sending me there. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Belfry, did you get that? Not like Oswald to be so helpful. Think he's got an angle? That seems likely. But if Penguin believes the Court of Owls is real, we want to at least investigate the possibility. Okay. I'm inside. Good. We'll be here. Let us know what you find. Staircase. Wonder what else they're hiding. Found a hidden staircase, Belfry. I'm going to find out where it leads. Great. Lost comms. Enable logging mode. Something tells me we're going to want to record what's down here. Okay, that did something. When you can, Penguin was telling the truth. The Court of Owls is real. Let's see how deep this goes. Death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let things in, Commander. But as for that other issue, we've already bribed the senators. I can assure your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. I, I abhor dealing with Phil. I'm sorry, Mama. We need to get you to safety. I 
hear someone. He's still alive. of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. The court cannot forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. <laughs> the last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. These are all bones. Oh, God. Here's hoping that's a way out. Glad to have you back online. What happened? Are you all right? It's a long story. The people we're up against are not messing around. I'll tell you more when I get back. Copy that. See you soon. Bruce was looking into the court. I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget they had play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. He used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. 
Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. <laughs> From inside Gotham's walls. Hopefully it's that literal. Ominous and glowing. There's something about this door that makes me think it's the one. It's spooky in here, like a lair. No sign of anyone. Strange location for it. Any indication of what they were doing there? I'll see what I can find. Moreno? I feel like I know that name. Belfry, we have an open case file on the Moreno murder. Can you look it up? Of course. The brother of Elena Moreno, a local judge. She took a leave of absence from the bench directly afterward for family reasons. It was the Court of Owls. I'm going to look around for more information. Belfry, looks like the court gave a purge order for the Chelsea Tunnel. Construction on the tunnel was shut down when the site was declared unsafe. That seems convenient. The Court of Owls must have something hidden down there. Heading that way now. Take care, and keep us updated. In the tunnel. Looks like they hit some kind of chasm during construction. Chances are we'll lose comms down there. I'll check in as soon as I can. Sure. Just don't make me come down there after you.
Some kind of mining operation. What is going on here? Whatever they're after must be pretty valuable to put all this work in. I hope the recorder's getting all this. Holes in the rock. They've extracted something from it. Extraction room. That should do. Extraction first. I'm not leaving a mysterious mine without a mysterious sample. So you're still alive. It's clear you don't understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And owls devour bats. The court of Owls is watching, from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow, and they rule you, one and all. The nursery rhyme was scary enough. How long have you known the court's real, Talia? When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining an element called Dionysium. Its makeup is similar to Lazarus Pit samples. 
A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. The Talons. So they're using Dionysium to make soldiers. I wonder why the League doesn't get the court the good stuff. They would probably pay a lot for a Lazarus pit. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus pits. I mean, the League creates monsters too. Look at your father. Oh, those are some harsh words. Would you say your friend Jason is a monster as well? Of course that was you. Jason never asked you to bring him back like that, Talia. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You wouldn't dare use the word gratitude if you knew what he's been through. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. So if we take down the court, the League will just let Gotham be? <laughs> Without Batman, everyone's making their moves. I'm just wondering what yours is. I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Just a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie. Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if... We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words. Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade. The event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up, and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. So many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. I've reached the Orchard Hotel. The balcony door should be open. That's your entry point. Balcony? You booked the fancy suite. It was the closest one to the ballroom. I thought you'd appreciate the proximity. You know I do. Belfry, I'm inside the orchard. Don't get distracted. 
Find a good spot to eavesdrop on the ballroom. And security can't know you're there, so keep a low profile. That must be the ballroom. No way am I waiting in line. Stop, Abby. I don't want to be distracted. My grandmother has a heart of one. No, I don't care what happened to you. You promised me a heart. I have to attend this banquet, but when I'm done, you and I are going to have to chat to somebody social. Get in with your stupid theory. You saw the elevator. The hotel doesn't have a 13th floor. I'd better not interrupt them. Smooth. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Belfry, the security systems should be down now. There's my way in. Belfry, I'm about to enter the ballroom. Well done. Let's see what Gotham's elite have to say for themselves. Ready to record. Go get him. Formal wear was required this evening. This is formal wear. Did you hear about Langstroth's assistant? He deserved to be... let go. Just like Kirk, people forget their place. The voice remembers. Got some matches here. No sign of the voice yet. Have you been to the hotel's east staircase? The one they sealed off? They hear it's haunted. That's what I heard too. Strange noises, almost cries, and scratches in the walls. Ugh. Is this all they could muster for the great Bruce Wayne? It's embarrassing. When I go, it'll be a spectacle. Fireworks, dancers, ice sculptures, the works. says that's the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy.
Robin, we just found a hidden 13th floor in the hotel blueprints. Maybe that's where the voice went. Maybe this haunted stairwell leads to Lucky 13. Belfry, I'm on the 13th floor and found a court door. This has to be it. for working for someone else. If this recording isn't enough for a conviction, I don't know what is. But there's still plenty to clean. Destroy everything. Make it so life so never existed. We must send a message. You are only an owl of the court. So long as you remain loyal to the court. So many names. High profile murders, missing persons. Langstrom's on here. Is this a list of court targets? I thought you wanted to talk. Go to the painting. You're trying to destroy Gotham. I can't let that happen. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain, hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you, Tim. Jacob King? How, how? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kurt Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for the city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston.
clearly have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe? Isabella Haas? Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the leak. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. <laughs> no one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. <laughs> So your League of Shadows has arrived. You should have warned us, Talia. Does this look like my League? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? I think the voice survived. He seemed well protected. Then the League will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. And the court will fight back with more talons. How many more people are gonna die caught in between? Countless. The League will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. What do you know? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. If Langstrom was so useful, why did the court kill him? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. Was wondering when you'd show up. I wanted to give you time to look at all the files I sent. Some pretty serious shit here. A secret society that controls Gotham, with Jacob Kane at the head? Murder. Conspiracy. This one's got it all. I'd say you were off your game, if it didn't make so much damn sense. I've seen so many shady things over the years, and this <sighs> explains every single one of them. I assume Kane has a lot of connections. Too many corrupt cops on the force for me to just arrest him. If I had someone I could actually trust on the case, I might be able to get some solid evidence. Give me some time, and I'll tell you exactly who you can trust. You've received an urgent message from Penguin. Please return as soon as possible. I'm in here! to 
say this, but it was either you or me. And frankly, <laughs> it'll always be me. Smells like death. Belfry? Are you there? <sighs> Something must be blocking comms. here wait I'm not dead how am I not dead what's going on here What is this place? Four weeks we've been brought up. No improvement. Lacks next leadership. Jason's all misses. An unworthy successor. Batman. Did you really think that? Jim was right. Batman needs a Robin. The Robin needs to be someone, anyone other than Tim Drake. Stay focused, Robin. This can't be real.
for the way out. The Talons, the Labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Mm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The Labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? <laughs> Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the Labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, Near death, I patched him up, just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war, it's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. Look at this place. Wait. Barbara? What are you doing here? Renee. Glad you could make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. Did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. You're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane. We need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing, then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even, like, do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. 
the dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade, anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kind of hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. Imagine being so paranoid you install anti-aircraft guns on your roof. The entrance to Kane's bunker is covered with the same armor as outside the building. Only his tech can cut through it. This looks pretty heavy duty. And definitely experimental. Looks like something out of the 80s. I am a laser drill, serial number KD-847 prototype. Oh, cool. It talks. Warning, this prototype is single use only. I better not miss that. Kane must watch a lot of spy movies. Armored. Nothing's getting through there except Kane's own tech. All right, laser. Time to do your thing. I am a laser drill, serial number KD-847 prototype. I know. How do I get you to cut, though? Cutting. Is there a volume setting on this? Negative. Intel and what to expect down there. All we know is this elevator directly connects Kane's private office to a bunker somewhere under the building. Elevator goes down. Gotcha. You're doing what Bruce did fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. The League of Shadows are fanatics. We'll slaughter half the city to purify it. So you're building an army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters. Our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did. Like you do. But unlike you, they know their place. <laughs>
Of course you'd have submarines. <laughs> you any more than I have to. <laughs> I gave you a chance back at the orchard, but you failed me like you failed Bruce. Any other Robin wouldn't have got him killed. <laughs> Gotham won't accept the court is real. Let alone believe I'm the voice. No one has to. They just have to believe that you killed Langston. And what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? Much less the judge who'll convict me. They're waiting outside, actually. Well, maybe not the judge. My wife is still the commissioner. I'll be free before sunup. Montoya, Jacob Kane, mostly in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Working with vigilantes, detective. Catherine will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. <laughs> Firing with vigilantes to put me away! Tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can... Jacob! did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! Jacob, she's trying to escape, but I'm right behind her. Get after her. I think Talia's heading to Wayne Tower. We had a plan. Kane was gonna answer for his crimes. And you murdered him. No. We murdered him. The League of Shadows thanks you for your collaboration. Bruce was never this helpful. So you did take over the League? 
This must have taken years to orchestrate. Decades. I have a clarity of vision that my father lacked. Without him, the League can reach its full potential. I'm surprised you didn't kill Race yourself. I didn't need to. So, you got everything you wanted. I guess that means the League leaves Gotham forever, right? The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. A torrent of blood? Doesn't sound like balance. It's actually kind of the opposite. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. I suppose every pawn is sacrificed, eventually. I am not your pawn! And neither was Bruce. In this game you're playing, it ends now. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Okay. Jacob in custody. We were finally gonna bring him in. And now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya's scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. Lights are on. Is anybody home? This place has seen better days. The League must have set this up. But where are they now? Aside from the cobwebs and the mud, this lab looks a lot like Langstrom's. Leaving things unprotected isn't Talia's style. Belfry, I found a large tank. What are we thinking here? That is from Langstrom's research. Langstrom was secretly working for the League. There's no way Talia would let his research go to waste. 
Talia took Langstrom's method and supercharged it somehow, with League volunteers. The trials led to mega strength in the test subjects, so that's scary. They were conducting sonic tests in the Manor Tower? I wonder why. Downloading the data now. Belfry, looks like the power's out. On it. Looks like there's a breaker box through an old Mac security wing in the basement. The tower's just up there. Old oscilloscopes. Neat. What's Tully doing up here? I guess I need to find the right frequency. There we go. run sonic tests on the volunteers to control them. Uh, that sound came from the lab. Belfry here. We've run the data. Then you've seen what I've seen. Talia has a Lazarus pit. Langstrom walked so she could run. Precisely, but where is the Lazarus pit? It must be close. Like, under Gotham, close. The tank! Oh no.
Send in the drone. I'll meet them en route. Go! Alfred? How did I... You know... You really should not be fighting with those injuries. <sighs> Chaos in Gotham City tonight after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. That's my fight out there! The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready... I'm ready. Uh... I proved myself the moment you met me. When I figured out Bruce's identity. And Dick's too. I learned how to be a hero by serving at a hero's side. I was the Robin that Batman needed. After everything that's happened... I've become the Robin I need to be. I'm certain you already know what must be done. Tali is hiding a Lazarus pit somewhere under this city. She thinks she's about to win. I can't wait to disappoint her. The creatures are coming from the cemetery. Got the coordinates, Belfry. Let's do this. I'm definitely giving this place a bad review online. Whoa! Belfry, I... I'm in the Batcave. Or what's left of it. Pretty far from the cemetery. How long is that tunnel? I'm not sure. But I can't turn back now. I have to find what they're after. Just don't get lost down there. I'll do my best, Belfry. Experiment's over. Shut down. Call it ethical reasons. Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable, more pliable to suggestion. So you made an army of zombies. Is that the plan? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general. 
leading it. I like my brain the way it is. Thanks. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I've finally solved that problem. My father's mind was broken by repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory. Remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. is manipulating you. You have to fight through this. What do you die, Tim? She said you died! I didn't. I'm right here. No! You're not real!
believed in me, Bruce. Even when I didn't believe in myself. Remember? No! Don't lie! I'm right here, Bruce. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> It's a long story. There was a Lazarus pit under the Batcave. We found the Court of Owls. Your Uncle Jacob is the leader. Well, was. The Court's at war with the League. And since Raish is dead, Talia took over. She's been throwing you in the pit and pulling you back out to wear you down. Wait! You found the Court of Owls? You'd be so proud of us, Bruce. We're working so well as a team. No, 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 no! Don't give in! That's what she wants! This pretender pulls you away from me. Come back to me, beloved. Yes! Good! Stay away from him! Bruce! After all I've done, you were to be my champion, not his. No, no. You can't die again. Gotham's not ready. You're ready. You were always smarter than me, Robin. You'll make a better Gotham than I ever could.
need to keep fighting. Get some... Another Robin shall fall tonight. Why are you laughing? You? Tim Drake. I'm about to watch a careless Robin be torn to pieces by a parliament of owls. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an Algo. Defeat me. You cannot outwit me. 
My beloved did train you well. <laughs> Uh, 
of you grew without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. Explosion in the cave destroyed the Lazarus pit. Now that it's gone, the Court of Owls has mostly vanished. Without a shot at immortality, they know they're vulnerable. They'll lay low and regroup. Talia is also nowhere to be found. She's hiding somewhere and planning her next move. She left behind a small team of League assassins. I don't know if they're here to watch us or keep us busy. No, and Talia, it's both. We found the wreckage of the Batwing. He's... He's gone. Gotham City still needs me. The court will act like nothing happened. But I'm still watching. And I'll make sure they know. Bringing Jacob Kane's crimes to light was just the start. The Court of Owls is at war with the city and its people. And they're not about to stop. But they are done hiding inside Gotham's walls. Because when I find them, they'll have nowhere to hide. People of Gotham, I know you won't let fear control your lives. I am giving you my word that you will never have to.